Good morning, everyone. It's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet, and this is going to be a Charm Chatter video. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, I came out to crochet with my husband and have coffee this morning. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And he is obviously not here. <laughs> um, he gets up earlier than I do. I got up early for me today. I like to sleep in until like nine. I got up at eight. Um, and I believe he is next door at the neighbors. They have coffee together every day, either here or there. Um, today it's obviously there. So I thought, well, I'll do a crochet chit chat. Um, so let's see, camper crochet. I am going to put together the squares, um, for the first bag that I've made for the girls, uh, for college girls. Uh, so let's see. I want to welcome you if you're new once in a while. Uh, well, we have a camper and we come here every week, my husband and I, every weekend. Um, and once in a while, I sit out here on the deck and uh, crochet and chat while I do so uh, when I'm alone. And I'm going to do that now versus any time later today. We are going somewhere this afternoon. I'm going to play cards with a friend later. Um, and it's kind of, it's not cloudy, but it's like not very bright right now outside. I thought, gosh, is it going to rain? I didn't think it was supposed to rain. It doesn't look like rain outside, but it's not very bright and sunny either. I mean, but the sky is blue. You can't see it because you can only see the camper. Sorry to say. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. So welcome to my deck. And if you're, uh, been around for a while, thanks for joining me on the deck again today. Oh, I have one end I didn't weave in. I didn't even notice one unwoven. What's going on with that? We got to do that. Uh, so don't mind the noises. If you can hear, there's a dog barking in the background. Sounds like he's being abused, but he is not. Um, he does that all the time when they walk away from him or <laughs> whatever. If the kids aren't playing with him. He doesn't, you know, that's just how he barks at them. He, he doesn't bark, he yelps. A lot of people at our campground have pets. Um, so there are dog noises. <laughs> You can hear the neighbor's dog. That's where my husband is. Their dogs bark. They have a, a about a two-year-old, and then they have an older one as well. And the two-year-old does not want to be in the camper along with when they when there is somebody in his space. If they're outside, he wants to be out there too. And he's not a bad pup, but you have to watch him, you know, so that he doesn't leave the yard. And the other one that doesn't park as much, um, just because they're outside and he's not. I mean, he does bark too, but the younger one, Dewey, I call him Doo Doo. He does the most barking. Um, because he doesn't want to be left alone inside. He wants to be outside. Um, <coughs> but Bruno will run. So you can't have Dewey out and Bruno in. Because that causes conflict, apparently. Alright. Now we got to figure out which side do we want up front. I do turn these so there's not really a front and a back. I think we'll go this way. And I'm going to do a single crochet join on my square. So these are not granny squares for Boggy Creek. I am making uh, like messenger bags for my granddaughter. Uh, I have a 21, well, almost 21 year old granddaughter. And she, I have four granddaughters, but my almost 21 year old goes to college. She's in her third, she just started her third year at Case Western Reserve University here in the greater Cleveland area and I, I'll brag about her for a minute she got a full scholarship so we are extremely proud of her 
I mean, we're proud of her anyway. Um, she has to pay for her room and board, but you know, for her dorm, but she doesn't pay for her school. So as I said, we are extremely proud and, um, she is dorming with four or three of her friends. And so I made them blankets. Uh, she asked me to make blankets for her and her friends. Well, she wanted one blanket to go on the couch so they could big blanket. They could all cuddle up in if, you know, for movie night and things like that. Girls chit chat. So I made them four individual blankets of their favorite colors. I use Super Saver Ombre um, in their favorite color. Each girl got her own blanket and with buttons on it to button together to the other kids' blankets. They loved them. I did a video showing um, with pictures of them getting them, and they were real thrilled. Uh, but I bought more yarn than I needed. So the Super Saver Ombre in white. Uh, acrylic are what made the blankets um, what's making the bag is the their color of their super saver ombre and white cotton so that it won't stretch because you know acrylic is going to stretch on us I'm crocheting over my tails I do that when I do a single crochet join on the blankets uh, or in on with granny squares I always crochet over the tails knot it and crochet over it and cut it off and no oops missed a stitch so I'm holding together my uh, then I, I bordered the blankets in a solid color that was like the deepest color I could match um, to their blankets so now I'm just crocheting these bags together and I'm using the join color to be their darker color. Okay. So I'm putting this together and I'm thinking maybe I need to do a border of just two, like one row around of just the solid color to differentiate because as I'm looking at this, Like you can't even see, it's too busy. It needs that to break it up, don't you think? I think, and I'm not gonna worry about one row of half double crochet or something being a, a big stretch issue. But I'm gonna have to do it around each square. And for the back of the messenger bag, I just have one big solid square, honestly, because it's faster. So, yeah, look at that. It definitely needs just, for detail, it's going to need that just solid purple. Um, for the border on there, on this, on the purple blanket, I use this Bernat uh, Premium in the color Deep Purple. So if it's not looking purple on your screen, it's very deep purple, not blue. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not liking it like this. I started the second set of squares to crochet them in. I like it. It's too busy to see. Yeah. And if so, if I add a border here, then I also have to add it to the bigger square to the back square, or they're not going to fit. All right. That's what I'm going to do. So now I got a frog and do a border around each dig on it not that that's a big deal i can't find where my end is oh it's because it's hiding inside <laughs> that's so funny okay i'm really glad i have to hold it double um because the two strands here so if i just did one strand of the purple border that would look really funny this is just uh, I think this is the cotton from Hobby Lobby
So, I'm glad I brought all of my... I can't get my night on down here. I brought all of the... Uh, I was just going to bring one skein because I figured just to do the trim and the uh, handle in the solid color, I probably wouldn't need the two that I held together. But I think I'm going to... Glad I brought them. I made this slip knot really tight. Or something. Oh, that's why. Okay, there we go. So let me find my clip. Oh, sorry for the distraction there. I always use, and I don't remember who I got this idea from, but I share it all the time. Clippy clips to hold my yarn tail, you know, yarn ends together. I'm going to tell you it is the best idea. It is one of my favorite tricks of the trade. Uh, you get them at the Dollar Tree, like a pack of, it used to be like 18 for, for a buck. I think there's like 10 in a pack now for $1.25 because <laughs> inflation, you know. Um, but it is one of the best tricks I have ever learned. My yarn stays together so nicely. I do it on all of my scraps. Here's another one. Always clip the clippies. I keep a spare in my little tote uh, just for this purpose. And I clip the end. I tucked it in here too. I can't find the, the end end. It's here. It's here somewhere on this second skein. There it is. So, we're just going to do that. That's going to be a better idea, I think. I'll still crochet over my tails. Because that's what I do. Because I really don't like weaving them in. If you leave them long enough, you don't have an issue. Alrighty, well, Roy is back. He wants to cut the grass before it gets too hot. It's supposed to go up to near 90 today. Um, Roy's done cutting the grass and so I thought I would jump back in for a little bit and give you a catch up of what I did while he cut the grass. Oh, hang on one second. I'm on my fourth of the little squares. I do like it better with the blue purple edge. I think the purple edge is going to make it look so much nicer. So then I have the big one to do too. And Roy's getting ready to make breakfast for us. I do not cook on the grill. Roy, and honestly, Roy does the majority of the cooking around the house now. Um, so after after breakfast, uh, I'm going to hang out with a friend. We're going to play some cards or something for a little bit, her and I. And then we're just going to have a simple dinner because early. Uh, another friend and I are going to go to a ski show. Um, and it's about an hour drive away. Or he's decided not to go because there's a horseshoe tournament. He loves to play horseshoes. So he doesn't, uh, he's not going to go to the ski show. I'll have to do the driving for that. He does, uh, my friend doesn't drive. She's, she's never learned. She drives a golf cart. <laughs> I said, you know, it's just like driving a car. <coughs> she's afraid. So she doesn't. Um, so we're going to drive to the ski show and I'll see if I can get video there. I don't know if there's going to be music in the background. I don't, uh, know how good of seats we're going to get. Um, I, I, you have to bring your own. It's at a, like there's no stands or anything. They just go to there to practice. Um, so it's a practice session. 
and I don't know where they actually do. Oh, there's a cardinal. I haven't seen a cardinal on the feeder for a while. It's time for the birds to start migrating back to wherever they go for the winter. So we'll be getting a lot of birds again. Uh, I mean, cardinals are here year-round in Ohio, but it's our state bird, actually. Um, but I haven't seen one for a minute here at the camper. And in the summertime, Roy doesn't feed the birds at home so much because, A, nobody's around to watch them, and B, uh, it brings groundhogs and raccoons and possums into the yard uh, that he doesn't want to have to deal with. And a skunk. <laughs> we had a skunk this summer. And no dog to scare it off, which, um, on one hand, is a good thing because there's no dog for to spray. <laughs> but Roy also does not want to be sprayed. <laughs> He's always like, I'm not going to feed the birds this summer. Which usually he doesn't. They have a, uh, he feeds them here because he sits here and watches them. But he doesn't feed them at home because he doesn't have the opportunity to sit and watch them. So, um, when I turned turn this on, I said, I mentioned uh, Boggy Creek. These are not for Boggy Creek, these squares. But uh, I'm just going to throw it in here. If you want to do squares uh, for blankets for Boggy Creek, which is a, um, a camp for children in Florida, uh, we do sponsor that. Uh, we do. We are in the middle of our Boggy Creek Drive, and that would be uh, Nancy from She's Got Yarn Two. Send your blankets, completed blankets, to Nancy. Her address will be in the description box below. Um, and your, if you have granny squares that you don't want to sew together, five by five by five inch squares, Lenian, and her address will be in the description box below as well. Uh, she's accepting granny squares. There's some challenges going on with the one with Laura from Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming. She's doing the double dog, double duck dare. Quack, quack. You make uh, 17 because she's an odd duck. You make 17 granny squares, send them to Lynn Ann with a note that says that Laura sent you. Uh, quack, quack. Then Laura will make, might make. She's She's uh, getting afraid, y'all. So now she's saying the quack quack might get you additional squares. I think she's uh, chintzing out on me. Hi, honey. So. Sorry, I just got um, interrupted by a little kid. She's having a good time. I guess I had breakfast with Santa this weekend. Here at the campground is our Christmas in July that we do in September. I don't know why. Um, and she just had breakfast with Santa and she was wondering if I had had breakfast with Santa this morning. I said, nope, he only eats breakfast with the kids. But she showed me what she got and she was very talkative, very cute little girl. So, um, if you want to make grannies and send them to Lenin, please do that. If you want Laura to make additional squares, uh, say quack quack and send 17. And then there's the challenge from um, uh, Jan, an Alaskan crafter. Uh, she's challenging everyone to make a blanket uh, that she's chosen four, no, five options of blankets to make. Uh, her her dream, her goal, is that if you make uh, these blankets, send her a picture of the completed blanket by sub, by the end of September. Um, they're granny, they're uh, stained glass looking blankets. She would love it if there was enough to be able to do that as a theme one for one week at the at the you know that all the blankets would have um, granny. Stained glass looking 
mosaic type blankets on the bed. So I have started one of those. Um, it, the one I'm doing is the polychromatic. Um, so she has five options and uh, the fifth option is uh, the newest granny square uh, stained glass looking from Bag O' Day. So three patterns are from Bag O' Day. And that's all for Boggy Creek. Um, there is, I'm just going to say this real quick in this video because I think my breakfast is about done. Um, Camp Boggy Creek has sister camps in other states besides Florida. There is one here in Ohio and they are accepting quilted blankets. Uh, quilt, quilt tops or completely quilted blankets. Um, one of my subscribers that also lives in Ohio is a quilter as well as a crocheter and she is making quilts for them and I will list some of that information in the description box below. It's, all the information is in um, uh, she sent me via email which I can't look at while <laughs> I am on my phone here at the camper. Um, but it is called, the camp here is called Flying Horses, I think. And uh, the quilting, it's a um, like Nancy's mom uh, women's group started us with uh, Boggy Creek in Florida. Uh, there's a women's quilting group that is uh, makes the quilt tops for the Ohio version of Boggy Creek. So, um, they are accepting and would appreciate any and all donations. Uh, so I said that I would, um, you know, help. I don't quilt, <laughs> but uh, if you quilt and you would like to donate quilts, that would be an awesome place to donate some. and. Um, think they're I don't remember the dimensions off the top of my head I'll go in more detail uh, on a boggy creek blanket uh, drive video but I did want to mention it if you're quilters uh, I will put the quilting group in the description box below and flying star I'll try to get all of that in the description box below in this video because that would be awesome um, I don't know if quilters like crocheters end up with blankets you don't know what to do with <laughs> or quilting time so I need to make something but I don't know what uh, so if that's the case uh, I'm sure that the flying horses would be a fabulous place to donate to just like Boggy Creek uh, I believe Roy is taking my breakfast off of the griddle right now so I am going to go this time, um, and definitely I'm on the back blanket, on the back square now with the border. So the next time we do, uh, if I do another one this week, camper crochet, or in the next video that I produce, I'm hopefully you'll see some squares put together into the shape of a bag, <laughs> maybe even with a completed project with a handle on it. We'll see how far I get. Uh, I'm in no rush for these. Um, I want to give them, I think, as Christmas gifts. So, no, no hurry. But the kids do know that they're getting them, I think. So maybe hurry a little bit and not be a Christmas gift. Well, they know their the poop is coming. I don't think they know the bags are coming. Okay, so I will see you guys in another video. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, and uh, uh, uh. Okay, there we go. All better. See you next time. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, you know, all those things, commenting. Uh, see you next time. Bye.